Hello, my name's Darren, and I'm here to talk to you about running 240 volt for your electric car. Uh, I own a Bolt EV, and I've noticed some posts online where people are currently having uh, really expensive installs. It should not cost thousands of dollars to do this, um, even for our setup here. Uh, we did this ourselves. Um, we did not hire uh, a person to do this, um, which obviously helps, but I can go over some of the hard costs. So basically our setup here uh, is we have a 100 amp service uh, and we chose to hook up the car's power to a 60 amp breaker for future proofing. Um, if we did upgrade the panel at some point with 200 amps, you know, in the future maybe a car can charge at its full 40, uh, 40 amps, which you know, our charger in our garage does have the ability to do that. I'll show it to you in a little bit. Um, we hooked it up here with six gauge wire which supports 60 amps um, and then runs into here, um, flows out, goes up here and then runs all the way over to this box here, which then goes into our three seasons room. Um, we then switch to the outdoor underground wire here uh, where it uh, joins and unions here um, with special friction tape you have to do for high voltage, 240 is high voltage essentially. So you need to step up to friction tape in here as well as unions. You can't just put little twist ties on it, it doesn't work. Um, and it flows out. So here's where it comes out and goes into the ground and it runs underneath the ground about 14-ish uh, inches. Uh, and then it comes up here where it enters the garage essentially. Um, all these holes that have been drilled through, the concrete was just done with essentially a very, very cheap hammer drill. It actually was horrible to use, but it did the job. It cost like all of $10 and the bits cost $20. So here's where the wire, to the six gauge wire enters into the garage. Here's our local cutoff. This is critical. Essentially all it is is just a pull fuse that you can open it and pull it. I don't like messing with it. <laughs> so I just not going to open it. But it's a pull fuse so you can do a local cutoff so you don't kill yourself if you want to work on the wiring. Um, then the conduit runs along back here uh, to this relatively vintage meter which was donated to a cause apparently for us to do um, and was installed here which then runs up here to uh, due to my silliness I happen to have bought a, apparently a range version of this so the plug is upside down of the uh, 1450 I believe. Um, and then it goes into this wonderful uh, secondhand juice box that I purchased off eBay for not much, which can handle 40 amps or 10 kilowatts, which is more than the bolt needs. Then currently, it's the cables just kind of run this way, and it connects down here into the bolt right now, which is sitting here. And that's more or less it. Um, it's there. You can see the green light currently it's charged or the charge is complete um, and uh, yeah that's more or less it and how it works um, so cost wise if I wanted to review that basically you're looking at the charger I got second hand I only had to pay 90 bucks for it you probably can't do that but you can probably get one that's under 300 um, this plug probably cost about eight bucks um, the meter was given free. Um, all the conduit and everything else there was probably in the ballpark of $120, $140, I'm going to guess. Maybe, maybe $200 at most. All the wiring was about maybe at most $150, $180 as well. So all said and done with all the parts, I don't see why you can't do it for under $500. And that's even with buying the drill um, and buying the bits. And one more thing, if you do have to trench... I strongly recommend buying the right tool for the job. This is a $30 trenching shovel, this red and green guy right here, and it made everything much easier. But uh, that's pretty much it. Um, hopefully that's helpful.